Ladies and gentlemen, listeners of the Ritual Misery podcast, it's Amos, and I've got an announcement. It saddens me to tell you that for the second week in a row, we've suffered some audio problems. I understand if you're going to listen to the first couple minutes of this podcast and stop it and cut it and move on. It's a great episode with the wonderful Tay Allen, and I did what I could to save the audio. If you watch the video, you'll get a little bit more from it, but you have the Ritual Misery promise that we will not have crappy audio again. At Ritual Misery, we strive to make the most professional podcast we can in your ears, even if the topic and subject matter don't quite align with that. We thank you for listening. We thank you for suffering through the last episode and this episode. Amazing guests that, due to issues with our equipment, just wasn't recorded properly. Without further ado, and with many thanks, I present to you episode beta 91 with Tay Allen. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Movie Podcast, episode beta 91 from Friday, the 19th of August, 2016. This is a show with two lifelong friends to talk about geek stuff and whatever else comes to mind. And... <laughs> <laughs> and we are joined. We are joined today by the one and only Tay Allen. How are you doing, my dear? Hey, girl. Good to be here. Good to be here. You are. Uh, you're, you're not in your bed on your phone or trying to do some woogie woogie stuff this time. You actually look like you. You took the time to set up for us, um, but you could have done your business before the show. this week, man. Dude, oh, man. So after last week's amazing, amazing beta episode... Don't you dare call last week amazing when I am on this one. Oh, no, he was being, he was being purely sarcastic. Yeah. Okay. Last, last week's episode was... I'm sorry, I'm Last week's episode was a complete and absolute horror show on a technical yeah. aspect. It was amazingly ridiculous. Yeah, so uh, tech issue, uh, they made the audio issues like crazy. So after that show, I was like, okay, this is our last terrible show. We are going to move forward, and this is from there on out, we're going to have the most amazing shows, technically and content wise. And then I came out in the bathtub. Crazy. And then we came out in the bathtub. We were shooting from the stars. We were shooting from the stars. Guys, I'm always here to take your show. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. So, uh, so Tay, uh, before we get started into the absolute craziness that uh, this show is going to become, um, if you're not frozen, uh... <laughs> uh so yeah. on my end, at least, it's freezing happening. There we go. Um, so tell us, uh, what have we been up to lately? Are you guys talking to me because I'm frozen? This is amazing. Um, I, I can't tell if this is real time or not. <laughs> yeah. what, what have you been up to, Tay? Oh, okay, yeah, we're back, we're back. Who knows? I, I don't know what you guys said in the interim. I never will. Hopefully, you know, it was really flattering and sweet and kind. Um, the close-up, I feel like it only needs to be this. <laughs> Skype. Uh, I have a message stone. 
Skype just keeps messing with me and, and just focusing only on you and uh, it's kind of driving me nuts right now. I mean, it's a smart Skype. Um, should I show my face at all? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Uh, this is, this is kind of this is like a really beautiful, your face. There's like male body wash here <laughs> and then like some boob and like a slight leg. <laughs> No face, no drama. You can't, you can't see my eyes scrutinizing you. <laughs> this is this is this is probably oh, the most X-rated uh, that a Diamond Club has ever gotten. This would be good for the thirteen-year-olds who are watching it who never seen porn. So let's keep it, let's keep it PG, guys. I don't know if that does exist. Yeah, I'll be good. Okay, sorry, what was your question? 13 year olds that have never seen porn or 13 year olds that are on Diamond Club? Because I'm, I'm not sure. That, that's a Venn diagram that I'm not sure we want to know the truth about. <laughs> True. Sure. Sure. Did you ask me, like, how I was or some shit like that? Uh, yes. How, what, yeah. have you, what have you been up to? <laughs> um, things have been so good, guys. So, a lot has changed. As you can see, um, mainly this, uh, but things have been amazing. Like, we can talk about it, but I am the new spokesperson for what I believe is going to be the top new YouTube replacer app, like, for content creators, for fandom that combines Patreon, Google Hangouts, Periscope, all the things you love, and a place where you can get exclusive content and, like, low subscription fees. It's, like, 99 cents a month to, like, have all of this amazing one-on-one -on -one time with your favorite content creators. They chose me to be the spokesperson for it. I'm, like, heading up this new app. It's called FanKey. It's amazing. And because I'm, like, their, like, head person, like, we're going to be filming so much content in the next six months, like, gearing up for this and all the nerves, like, they want you guys to be involved, and we're going to create this together, and you get to be like the front end of this incredible new, like, highly funded app. It's going to be fucking amazing. And then I have, like, gangsta shit coming out with Tay, and then super magical stuff coming out with Tate, which is, like, my alter ego. I have these two sides now. It's, like, my Gemini coming full force. Um, so there's going to be so much weird shit. <laughs> That is the summary. It sounds awesome. Sounds absolutely awesome. Yeah. When, when does it launch? Huh? When does it launch? Okay, so basically the fan key stuff, like we're getting geared up now. Like the last couple weeks have been me meeting with them, you know, all this should take so long, signing contracts, all that stuff. Um, but we're gonna start filming. Oh no! Ah this is wait, this is a mock website that I made on Wix to show my real web designer what they can do. I don't know that we should be showing this. This is like a big Wix website that Tay made being like, hey, can we do something like this that doesn't look like throw up, please? <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know. I think it's it's pretty good. It's uh, I've seen a lot of self-made websites that look way, way horrible, and yours actually has like a bit of a style to it. You've actually got two separate websites on there, uh, depending on which, which which side of of your personality or or whatever that you want to go with. Um, so I I, th I thought it was fun. I had actually not looked at uh, tayallen.com until tonight, and I was clicking around it, and I was like. This is laid out pretty decently. Like, like you did some nice stuff there. I, I liked it. Oh, pretty really? Okay, I mean, well, then I guess you can show it. But, yes, I tried to be very, like, dark and mysterious with Tate. And, like, so, guys, so we, last time we talked about dating and stuff, and we'll get into all this, but, like, I have, like, this boyfriend. I'm actually in his bathtub in, like, the party house. But all of them know me as Tate. They think I'm like this real person. <laughs> it is all a sham. It's all a That's amazing. <laughs> so last time we saw you, we were actually uh, uh, hauling ass to a an impromptu ludicrous concert at South by. Um, holy shit! Okay, so here's a here's a word to the wise right here. All right, don't. What was the place called, Kent? That place we were at. Come on, shit. Huh? Kung Fu? No, no, that, that, yeah. was, that was the place we went to. Where was the place we started at? 
Oh, um, the um, Darwin's. The steam, steampunk something. Oh, oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Started at Darwin's. Yeah, because we were moving in. Yeah, we we hosted this little get together at Darwin's, and oh, that's yeah. And we got we got pretty. It was like the first night of uh, of South by, and we got shit faced. And about halfway through that, uh, Tay shows up, and we're like, "Oh shit, we didn't even know you were gonna possibly be here," but she showed up anyway. All the uh-huh. all the main diamond clippers that were there, like everybody showed up. It was awesome. And then as as people start filtering away and going to do their own little thing and stuff like that, Tay comes up and she's like, "You guys want to go see Ludacris?" Like, <laughs> like I know where he's gonna be. Like we can go. Like okay, just tell us when, Tay. Okay. And then she's like. You know, flitting around the crowds like that, and all of a sudden she comes in. She's like, "It's time to go. We gotta go now." And I'm thinking, okay, it's like maybe a couple bars over, and she wouldn't tell us where it was at because it's kind of low key or whatever, you know. It's across fucking Austin. Like, okay, you guys, in Austin, you cross that city five times a night. It is a ten minute walk. This is how Austin people do it. That's all. Yeah. Like, yeah, yes, but we were hammered, so <laughs> it was like a twenty minute sprint. And in Austin. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like that, it was, it was amazing though. So such good time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And but then uh, too bad we actually get in to see. Yeah. The, the show. By the time we exhaustedly got there, the place was pretty packed. We got there right as he was taking stage. That that was cool. My wife is only yeah. five foot tall, so she was uh, she couldn't see anything. So I actually lifted her up onto my shoulders so she could watch. And meanwhile, my drunk ass is barely standing still. So that was fun. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was amazing. Um, uh, yeah, but that was the last time we we uh, we all hung out. So um, it's nice to see that you changed the hair. That was a uh, that was a nice change. Just didn't come. <laughs> I mean, all we heard about that was didn't come. <laughs> That's all I heard too. I thought it was only me. I was like, oh. Um, so guys, I, since now I kind of hang out with a straight guy. Although I have to be honest. Sometimes he likes to pretend he's a girl. Uh, I I kind of know some puns uh, and like some vague sexual innuendos. Like, come in Tate's Taco. Like, that's sex, right? <laughs> it's, it's, either it's, sex, it's, it's either sex or, or a, a, a bad taco. Like, <laughs> <laughs> The best taco. Oh. Tell the chat room decide what makes a good cum taco. <laughs> this is taking a turn for the worst. Uh, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what you call the worst, Kent. This is. Uh, this is. This is. This is awesome. Um, I hope so, guys. So, uh, it's so, always a crap with us. It's literally just, I feel so comfortable with both of you that there's no filter and it's <laughs> only uncomfortable. <laughs> so, it's only the three of us and all of the other millions of people out there on the internet. Yeah. All the interwebs. Uh, all the yeah, interwebs. It's, it's at least Diamond Club because this is, this is one of those episodes that's guaranteed to hit the, the high rotation on DiamondClub.tv <laughs> for the rerun channel for a while. So, uh, Yay! it's really all of Diamond well, Club. Also, too, I've got, you know, I've got my 13 year olds <laughs> Who loves to tune in? That is true. I hope I give you words of wisdom, young children. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tay, oh, we uh, we lined up a few things here. Um, we we know your uh, your favorite hashtag is a the old hashtag be awk, you know. So, um, we trying it, not taking it off. Good, keep doing it. Uh, uh, so, uh, according to that, uh, this hashtag still in beta is still. Hashtag still in beta. It, uh, it hasn't taken off either, but we're, we're going to die with it because uh, we're still in beta. <laughs> also, when you, like, love something, and, like, I don't even think it has to take off, but people get that when you do that, you're coming from that part of your personality. And that's why I feel be awkward. It's like, I am sharing with you what I think is gloriously awkward. And you guys don't have to do it. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> Send me one of those shirts, and I will cut up the front and make it super sexy and do a photo shoot, and, you know, three people will look at that. Uh, um, yeah, definitely uh, send me your address later, and we'll, that, that, that will happen. Like, even if Kent's the only one that gets to see the pictures, that will happen. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I would love to do, like, kind of like, I have these black pleather pants. 
But I feel like we go really well with that shirt. That was, yeah, hell yeah, that, that sounds <laughs> rock star. There we go. So, um, so we we, uh, we came up with some some awkwardness. Um, first of all, oh boy. <laughs> Um, we're going to go through, we, we throw, throw a bunch of uh, links in our Reddit because apparently that's a thing that you, uh, that you're interested in learning. So we're going to, we're going to go through these links and kind of, kind of just check them out a little bit here. And, okay. and then, uh, we are going to do something that I don't know. It's kind of the, the biggest, the, the funnest thing about Reddit. And I, I'm not sure you know about it. So we're going to, we're going to explain that one to you. All right. Okay. So, uh, I should learn about Reddit since there's a religion about my breasts on it. <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Have to look that up. That, that's like, <laughs> like, like you have made it in life at that point. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, like, I think last time we talked about me being on, like, Match.com or something, mm -hmm. I don't know why I was like, I like hummus, 5'9". I should have just said, there's a religion about my breasts in Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> It brings all the boys to the yard. Oh, geez. So, um, so here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, cut to the to the Reddit page here. This is our Reddit page. It's very simple because we don't have fancy people to do our Reddit for us and and, and things. I'm the fifth most popular Tay. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> So here we go, here we go. Um, we're we're going to find out. Uh, it says your birthday is June 14th, 1989. Makes you 27 years young. Yes. Oh. All right. Hey, that, that, that's that's awesome. It's uh, it's once you hit that like like crappy 30 years. I think, Tay, I think it's really impressive that you are the 42,837th most popular person. Uh, is that? At a seven point what three billion people, you're forty two thousand eight hundred thirty seven. You're 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 insanely high versus us. Oh, oh thanks, guys. That's awesome. Uh, and, and and just to make make things super awkward, we're gonna go ahead and look at the the uh, other four uh, people. I am pissed as fuck about who the fuck is that twenty six year old with nope. that mullet ass hair and buck teeth? Who is Tay Jardine? No idea. No. Um, however, Tay Day. Okay, I can I can see that one. Yeah. That I get. Okay, okay. Chop, chop, break. Two, three, and four don't even have pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and they're old as fuck at 28. Who are those losers? <laughs> Who is Tay Rock? That's a lie. That's a fake Reddit. Uh, they, uh, uh, yeah. Um, battle rapper with more than 20,000 followers on Twitter. Well, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but in in chat realm, still say Rob says Tay is number one in our hearts. There you go, and that's what matters, right? Okay, exactly. Rob. Yeah, a girl is Tay Jardine with this mullet and nose ring. I'm not done with that. Who is this bitch? Pisces. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. It sounds like attention. Um, we are in the crowd. We've never even heard of this band. She, Girl, she, I definitely she, thought that was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> she was a founding member of the Royal Scottish Club. She's a pretty young boy with the mullet. Yeah, it looks like a 12 year old Justin Bieber. It really does. Okay, uh, I am unimpressed. Where is the speak, personality? Speak which, I'm done. I'm done with Tay Jardine. Speaking of really uh, Justin Dean. Bieber, okay. speaking of, I think that that needs to be downvoted. <laughs> speaking of Justin Bieber, if you look at the, uh, the most famous people, you know who number one is? Yeah. Justin Bieber. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's all these little boys with that same haircut. <laughs> take a, take a sar what? Right. I've never even heard of these people. No, no. Four, four, five, and six. Okay, I can understand. Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, and Selena Gomez. I didn't know any three of those were that old. Yeah, oh, look, it's all young people with Botox lips. <laughs> so, uh, so at a seven point one billion, you're in the top five hundred or top fifty thousand. I think I think we're doing pretty good there. So, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys. That's awesome. And it's gonna be more so once I'm the go like spokesperson of Benki and mm. making all this awesome content that you guys can watch. It's gonna be 
amazing. We, we should have saved that one for later, Kent. We should have saved that one for last. Because you always want to end on a good note. <clears throat> right. right, so, right. So many others well, just oh, see. my, we have so many good notes to end on. I can still sing. <laughs> So, yes, so, we make that happen. Too. So the next, <laughs> next, the next one coming up. Um, this is an article not long after uh, mass text went viral. Mm -hmm. And in case, uh, in case anybody's watching it and happens to not know who Tay Allen is, mass text went viral in what 2013, yeah. um, and uh, kind of put her on the map. And man, it just like everything that goes viral, especially when it includes a woman with a catchy song. Um, there was a lot of good and a whole lot of assholes out there just trying to hate on her. So, oh, yeah. 100,000 in dislikes. <laughs> yeah. magnet. Yeah, that's um, um, But this article asks five questions about the mass text uh, video, and so we were hoping that you might be able to answer these. We want oh, to oh, my God. I would love to. This is exciting. This okay. Is All right, so we're going to get the real answers straight from Tay Allen. Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay, so uh, let's, let's cut back over to over to, over to the people. <laughs> <laughs> that was I'm awkward. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, oh shit. And all of these questions are related to the mass tech video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. So for any of our listeners that have never seen mass text, you need to. Pause this episode if you're yes. if you're listening to this after the fact. Go watch Mass Text. You don't even have to search for it. It'll be in the show notes. We will we'll drop it in the show notes. Just swipe swipe over on your little podcatcher and hit the link. Watch the video and then come yeah, back to this point. Come back and listen to the to Tay answer these questions. Okay. So um, question number one. Is it now cool to label your crushes so explicitly in your phone the way you might label emergency contacts? Here, Tay is texting Drew Crush. <laughs> so, when we were planning the video, we were on set at this Catholic high school that I rented for $200 for the day in Los Angeles. I was raised Catholic, but I really, like, did some work to, to edge that up um, to get this Catholic school. So we were there, and I was just like, okay, what would I put the cute guy in my phone as? So everyone thinks that I was trying to emulate a high schooler. I'm going to give you a lot of inside depth into the mass text process. It never crossed my mind that it would be weird that I would be in high school at 24, but then have all of these 16-year-old extras. Never crossed my mind! Oh. Yeah, 16 year old extras at this shoot. Oh my god. And I was like, yeah, I like the name Drew. <laughs> Drew Crush. Like, that seems totally realistic. It seems it's legit. awesome. <laughs> it has since been dissected and demonized by the interwebs. Uh, well, everything will be eventually. So. All right, so so there you go. There, there's a there's a good answer for that one. I'm not sure she exactly answered it, but I think I'm happy with what she said. So that that's, that was an excellent response. Yes. Yeah. What was the but, question? I do want to answer that. Um, it, is it now cool to label your crushes so explicitly in your phone? Yes. Do you, do you, do you label your... Now with iPhones, there are so many contacts that you have. Like it's not like the olden days where you would go through and like check the boxes. <laughs> harder to mass text now. They don't make it easy for you. It's like you have to know people's names. I don't know people's names, but if I look up Crush and like I'm like, oh, like Stephen Crush versus Drew Crush. Stephen was ninth grade. Drew is tenth grade. I'm twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, yes, I, 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 I hate to know what our last names are and. In Tay's contact. In Tay's contact. I, you know what? I, th I think it's probably just misery. It's probably Amos misery and Kent misery. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no way. Sounds accurate. No. All right. Um, so where did the puppy come from? Are puppies allowed in high school now? Okay. So, got advice that on YouTube, puppies do well. That dog is a little shitter named Lilu. 
which is the name from the fifth element, my sister's papillon. My sister was living in Texas, shipped me this papillon named Lilu, who lived in my Los Angeles apartment where I lived in the family room with a curtain wall and two other girls. It was three girls in two bedrooms trying to afford Los Angeles when I was making all this happen. This dog cried and shit all over my sheets every night. She ate all my bedding. Like one of my first purchases out of college was expensive bedding. That was all I had. I had a curtain wall for a bedroom. And this little shitter named Lulu ate and destroyed all of it. So then I stepped in my Jeep and eventually she stayed at my aunt's house in LA because I couldn't. She was so awful. But cute as fuck in the video. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh. <clears throat> oh, wow. This is great. No one's ever asked me any of these. This is awesome. No, they, they asked you th three years ago. They just didn't have the balls to tell you that they were asking you. Yeah, they need to be more direct. Yeah, see? Okay, so question number three. Why is Tay playing with Barbie and Ken dolls? Okay, so this is like, for, I, okay, growing up, I had no friends. I was fat chubby with an eye patch trailer taylor and no one would talk to me so every night i would read like a fantasy romance novel or harry potter or something mystical or like aragon and then i would reenact the chapters i read but with me as the girl it's so, like i was hermione i was Arya. like and i would put me with like harry or me with aragon just trying to live a better life than the awful so like, why does Sky Boys cut out right when you're finishing your story? Come up with these love stories, and I didn't have a boyfriend until I mean, like, my aunt and my first real. Huh? <laughs> no, keep, keep going, keep going. <laughs> well, I didn't have a boyfriend, like, for sure, until 20s. I had like a high school boyfriend, we kissed once, we held hands, we talked on the game. But, like, it took a long time. So Barbie and Ken was like all I had. So I was like, yeah, duh, I would relive like my life with these and like practice kissing and no one was kissing me. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that and that's why we get along so good. We were both trailer trash growing up. Hey, here's what's weird. My family was upper middle class, uh -huh. but they called me trailer trailer. It didn't make a lot of sense. Oh well see I straight grew up in a trailer. <laughs> Uh, you also have a good personality, so there's something happened. See, there we go. Oh, okay. We made that okay. Tay was fake trailer trash. Oh, mm -hmm. she was pseudo trailer trash. <laughs> <laughs> they were just they were trying to be meanies, and um, little did they know that they welcomed me into a world of hate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were tater meaners. Yeah. They were the originals. They were the um, original taters. Okay, so uh, sure. this next one here, I've got to, uh, I've got to actually reenact it just a little bit. I'm going to do a really shitty job. So uh, oh, I'm to this. Uh, so, so it, it's uh, is this the dance move of 2013? Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! That was Fire. <laughs> I might have I might have, I might have sat here and watched this gift for about ten minutes practicing for that one. <laughs> okay, so that is Sam Allen, who is actually a star choreographer. Yes! Oh, it's so good. I'm getting all the shivers watching it again. And so those are all professional dancers. Sam Allen, who has choreographed for Cirque du Soleil, Beyonce, he's one of the top LA choreographers. We went to USC together and we were friends, but like his last name is Alan too, but he really is like, and you all should look up Sam Allen Swag, S-A-M-A-L-L-E-N-S-W-A-G. He's super legit, and he wears up all of the dancing, so like, that is like a viral move from a top star choreographer. <laughs> It's amazing. Really cool. And if you search back far enough on my channel, there is like video footage of me learning the dance and like showing him up, like teaching us the choreography and us rehearsing. So you can kind of see some of the behind the scenes. And it was so much fun. And he did clean my room too. Like the Swiffer dance, sweep, sweep, brush, sweep, sweep, brush. I don't think so. That was Sam. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. Uh, yeah. 
I'm gonna have to look him up so I can learn some moves. Yeah, yeah. He's incredible, Sam Allen Swag. So, uh, so the fifth one, and I think we already know the answer to this because I mean you're here, right? So, um, is Tay Allen just trolling us all? Okay, I'm letting both of you to answer that. I, I go, go ahead, Ken. I, I've already got my answer. I've been thinking about it for a while. Go ahead. Okay, well, see, I, I don't know if Tay is trolling us, but uh, I, sometimes I feel like I'm trolling her because <laughs> I'll text her or, or tweet at her or something, and it'll be like four days before I get anything back. So sometimes I feel like, oh, shit, I, I don't want to keep sending things. I must be trolling her. So, no, I, keep sending them. I do the worst in technology. You guys know this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give a little bit of a different answer, okay? Okay. Um, Typically, your trolls are the ones that are just trying to ruin everybody's day. They're, they're, it's the troll of, of the bridge, you know, um, stopping you from enjoying yourself by making you have to go through this bullshit before you can actually get to where you want to go. I mean, that's that's essentially what it is, right? Right. Well, exactly. I, I see Tay as more of the troll, like the little troll with the little crazy hair that goes up, you know? All ah. they're doing is making you smile. You put them little fuckers everywhere and they just make you smile. Like, yeah, they're everywhere, and, and, and we might get annoying if there's too many of them, but I tell you what, you see a little bit every day, and it just makes you smile. That's amazing, guys. That's so awesome. Like, and by a little bit, are you talking about, like, a nip slip, or are you, are you talking about my personality? <laughs> no, I didn't even, I forgot all about the nip slip. <laughs> oh, well, I probably would have. I'm in a bathtub, and the shirt is constantly falling down. <laughs> So, Honestly, though, so, um, no, that was actually really sweet. Thank uh, you. When, when, I, when, I first heard someone, when, I, when I first learned who you were and, and your association with Diamond Club and stuff like that, uh, that was one of the things. Like, that was the thing going on right at that time was the nip slip, you know? The, so I got to say, <laughs> I probably watched that little section of the video like 10 times. I still don't see it. I still don't see yeah, it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. It's, it's like, it's, like, you have to, like, you have to contort your mind to understand the shadows are maybe not supposed to be exactly like that. And it's just like, like I, ha, I can see what I, I just, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's like, it was not. Big nip slip in history. <laughs> it's the most awkward nip slip because it's not committing to be a nip slip. You're like, am I seeing Ariola or is that a bathing suit shadow? I'm not exactly. even sure. And I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, so that was that's uh that's that's awesome. Um, now, now we've had a good time. So uh, if you look up an Urban Dictionary, this is this is one of those points where it's so good that you have such a great personality and you see these things so well and you take this 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 trollish behavior and this this uh, hate that everybody not everybody but a lot of people can spew towards you because frankly they're jealous. Um, this right there. And and our awesome. Um, so, uh, Kent did, did, did you the favor? I don't, well, I don't know about that. He looked up mass text on the Urban Dictionary. And have you, oh, have you seen this? Uh, have, have you seen this? When I posted it, and, you made me so excited. <laughs> when I posted the article in Reddit or the link to it in Reddit, I, I titled it Mean People Are People That Are Mean. Yeah, that's how I label this website. Wait, uh oh, I've never seen this. <laughs> so, so, so you haven't seen this yet? Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is uh, we're gonna we're gonna show it here because uh, this is the show of awkward, um, and and uh, I I love awkward situations. So I'm gonna go ahead and click over to it. It says mass text. If you thought Rebecca Black's Friday wasn't bad enough, wait till you see Tay Allen's masterpiece of shit called Mass Text. Oh my god, I like masterpiece of shit. There's, it's not alliteration, but there's something that seems like almost beautiful and poetic about the way that that's phrased. <laughs> For and the, they have the right lyrics. Yeah. And does it say bang? No, it is, it? yeah, bang. Oh. I, I, yeah. I, I don't understand that part either. I don't get that. Is it, is maybe they're saying that they wanted to kill themselves because their ears burst, or <laughs> that they wanted to bang in the high school library, ah. or that they are a percussionist. 
Well, well uh, all, I, all I, good I, answers, I, all good I, answers. I, I, yeah, yeah. So, and then look at the, the top related starfish sex. Let my girl hang. <laughs> Too oh much God. sauce. Click on, click on, <laughs> click on <laughs> sauce. That's okay. I'm happy to be in relation to all of those wonderful things. What is stooch? Just want to click on it. I have a good feeling about this. I'm real nervous. We're all going to add this to our vocabulary. Yeah, let, let's, let's guess. Okay. Guess first, okay? Tay, what is your what guess? Are what is your guess? Yeah. What do you think it is, Tay? Oh, God. I'm thinking, like, you go into a bakery and you've eaten too many pies, and then you have a stooge, which is like a pie fart. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see it. I see it. Can't you? Yeah. I was thinking a lot more generic. I was thinking stunch might be another word for like the gooch or the the tate. Okay. Okay. Like oh, okay. Yep. Taint is the thing. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go, um, hmm. I'm going to go with, uh, have you seen the, uh, the, 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 uh, 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 statues of Donald Trump that have been played out in the, in the big cities? Oh yeah, like the the naked Trump. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and, where, yeah. and at the very bottom, well, not the very bottom, but where his penis should be, is like this little tiny nubbin of of flesh that's like bright pink and just does not belong there. I'm gonna say that's a stench. Oh my god! That, oh god! How so we have lots of amazing options. All right, let's let's see what it is. Stinch. I'm so excited. A foul smelling vagina. <laughs> so I think mine was the closest. <laughs> you, you were definitely. It's, it's like a combination of all three of ours. You know, we should have guessed because it's Urban Dictionary that it was just an not the J's. <laughs> that's, that's, that's that's true. Oh, that's, yeah. that's actually true. That's true. Yeah. This is awesome. yeah. I fucking love you guys. It was okay. my first. So, so Tay, we have a, we have a, a series of about seven more questions for you. Okay. Now, um, in each of these questions, we have an, a, a news article to accompany the questions. So, uh, we, we, God, this is incredible. We, I want you to know that already this episode is going to be like my YouTube trailer and everything because you guys have done your work. Um, we, we were originally gonna gonna have like a little scene where we introduced the story, then cut to you so you could like ad lib what was going on and stuff like that. And I was like, "That's a little too whose line is it anyway?" We're not trying to rip off someone else's game. We're already ripping off Night Attack and uh, and Court Killers. So, um, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and, awesome. and uh, every other podcast we have ever listened to. So, uh, I'm I'm gonna bring up the article. I'm I'm, I'm gonna pose you a question. And then we're going to see how close your answer matches to the actual news article that I've linked to. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't totally get it, but I'm, I'm ready to go. What's the, yeah, you'll figure it out as soon as, soon as we start. Yep. Perfect. We're in life. What's I'm prepared. The, <laughs> just going to talk. <laughs> what is the worst thing that can happen while kiting? Like flying a kite. Uh, my screen is still showing the urban. Is that right? Yeah. I can't see you guys. My, my, right? my, oh, there you are. My, okay. my, dumb lazy, my dumb lazy ass forgot to click you back over. Um, <laughs> what is the worst thing to happen while kiting? Um, one more time. <laughs> what is the worst if thing? You, what, what is the worst thing that can happen while you're kiting, while you're flying a kite? What's the worst thing that can happen while you're flying a kite? Um, you go to kiss your boyfriend, and the string gets, like, by your lips, and then you make a floss joke, but then you realize that when you're flossing, you're just getting the dirt out of your gums, and that's, like, the last thing that a guy would want to kiss. And then you're like, ha, 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 I mean, like, I don't want to talk about my plaque right now. Like, ha, lols. <laughs> Way, it does far more, yeah, far more awkward and entertaining than what actually happens. How about you can fucking kill somebody? Oh yeah. Oh whoa! Three people died in one day because of a string, a kite string made out of glass that happened to wrap around their necks while they were doing different activities. 
That's so sad. Like, you got to watch oh. out when you're flying kites, man. That's crazy. So, this is string that they use for for kite fighting. Have you guys ever heard of kite fighting? Uh, no. <laughs> we knew this until today. So I, I had to look this up. So in certain countries like, like India, uh, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Afghanistan, this is like a big thing. Like people, people do this. So it's like flying a kite, except you make your strings sharp and you try to like cut the string of the other kite flyers. It's like a duel with kites. That sounds awful. Yeah, absolutely. But that's why the, the, the kite string was made out of glass is because this is the, the string that is used for kite fighting, which is some weird sport, I guess. That's that, and that, that, there's something very else. strange. Uh, um, I try not to operate from a place of violence <laughs> because if I try to throw a punch, someone will laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so I can already tell you to lose this game because that was like a real thing, and while my thing was super real, oh. it was mine is definitely an augmented reality oh, of like what oh, normal no. people actually do. No, no, actually, I think the odds of you getting it right increase as we go along. Okay, okay so cool. um, next story. Um, can you dive and stir up some shit? What? Can you die by stirring up some shit? By throwing up some shit? No, by stirring up Stir, shit. Stirring up some shit. Stirring up some shit. The <laughs> boy will boil, toil and trouble, a witch stew, and they put some rabbit feces in there to try and, like, awaken the earth gnomes who are going to bless the spell, but the rabbit feces... Actually, is cow feces, which is not what the spell required, so it backfires and blows up the barn. So close, so close. That is that is so very close to being <clears throat> dead on. Wisconsin farmer and sixteen cows is dead after being overturned in the new You know what? You were right. I am getting better as it goes along. So, yeah, um, apparently he was stirring up the, uh, the manure tanks and there wasn't enough, it was like the, between the air pressure and blah, 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 like science stuff or whatever. Um, the fumes stayed down there and it killed him and 16 of his cows. Um, oh, uh, God, all these death stories. What is what's going on? Well, we, we had to go get those out of the way. We're unlike the, uh, unlike, unlike the urban, uh, urban Dictionary one, we had to get the, sh the bad shit out of the way first. Now we're going to get a little lighter in the subject. Okay, that's good. Well, we have a reprieve of stoosh. <laughs> yes. Stoosh. Let's make it go dark again. Now our light is coming. Yeah. Here, I'll bring us back to the happy place. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right. That was okay. uh, uh, the point of the video where it's going to get paused the most, I think, by your 13-year-old fan. That was Little Mermaid. That's what that was. That was Little Mermaid. It like a twist. Well, yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, Little Mermaid, but I'm sitting on a bathtub rim, and my legs are falling. So, so it was kind of like Splash. <laughs> Splash, yes. yes. You were comparing me to Daryl Hannah. Right. Not the sense of 8 Daryl Hannah, but the Splash Daryl Right. The, the early 80s Daryl Hannah, right? Uh, that was Prime Daryl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember, it was before her facelift, so not the best, but that's a great movie. <laughs> you know they're watching Capo Curtis? Like, Jackie Hearn? Where are my girls at? Watch to remember? Uh, d d Jack just so we're, Jack just so we're clear, Daryl Dale Hanna uh, Hanna in Splash were the first boobies I ever saw. Really? Yeah, so all the boobies since then have had to live up to that. How old were you? Um, six, five, six. But oh, when did it come out? Like, that's good. You saw some boobs early. Yeah, I, I, I had the high standards from the very get go. Good. How uh, did that you? <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if it's any, if it's any uh, suggestion, I'm much more of an ass man now. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, wow. that's funny. So okay, on that really quickly. Hmm. Um, obviously my boobs are my greatest asset. Uh, uh, and I have 
I think a fine ass, but it's a white girl ass where like it's like flat and the bottom is a nice shape and I'm happy with it, but it's not like, whoa, hey, let me go like this as a man. It's like, oh, <laughs> It just leaves it, leaves it up to their imagination. That's all. Exactly. It, which you just described the perfect ass. Oh, did uh, I? Uh, because uh, it was open for interpretation. Everybody's going to hear it and it, visualize it, exactly yeah. what they want to see. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, so the, the next question. Next question. Are dog kisses appropriate for TV? I'm a cat fan. Okay. So my cat, Onion Ring, is the shit. And she literally, maybe because I've trapped her in my small one bedroom apartment and she has no friends and I feed her and it's probably like that weird relationship where like your captor, you fall in love with them. She will come up to me and she literally goes like this. And then I feed her. It's like probably a creepy relationship, but the cat kisses me. So now that I've established, like, I, and I literally kiss her on the lips, and we both go like this. <laughs> so now that I have that, I can't imagine, like, a slobbery dog big tongue kiss because I have this beautiful little limb <laughs> from this spitless, you know, clean cat mouth. Kitten, kitten kisses. Yeah, well, I mean, kitten, she's a fat cat now. But sure, kidding, kidding back in the day. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna cut to this. Um, uh, uh, I, I just I just let it let it explain itself. You ready? Cool. Thank you. Oh my god, about her. Okay, Charlie, I'm gonna sit here and just hang out with my new best friend, Tina. Really? It's weather. Oh yeah. I think you should. You two should get a uh, get a hotel room or something. That's a lot of. <laughs> Of action going on over there. Oh, Charlie. Probably wow. Action you've had once, huh? Oh. <laughs> Let's take a look at the weather. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> He said this one's actually had in months. Hey, Cheryl? Like, oh my god, you creepy, pointy-faced <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, man, yeah. yeah. So, uh, apparently dog kisses are fine for TV. Uh, commentary, not so much. Alright. I mean, have either of you had a sloppy dog kiss? Oh, yeah. I get sloppy dog kisses all the time. Yeah. Okay. Have, where's the footage? Just dog. <laughs> um, um, she, she she wants to, she, she she basically wants to know what your red tube account name is because uh, she's heading over there for the, for the sloppy dog footage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. yeah, we'll we'll, we'll discuss that later. Uh, uh, what's on with the rest? Of how do you, how do you, how if you were if you were a reporter, how would you handle rejection? Okay, so I originally went to USC to be a sports reporter. I wanted to be like the first hot female sports reporter, and then Aaron Andrews up here in my freshman year, and I was like. Fuck. <laughs> um, but I was like, oh, college football. I'll be that girl. But then I realized it was way too awkward to hang out with like anyone who plays sports. Um, so, uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> if you were, if you were, <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> right, let's, let's, let's just, uh, let's just get to the scene, shall we? Uh, uh, local news reporter gets shut down hard by Michael Phelps as he arrives back home from the Olympics with his family, and we cut right down here to the uh, to the video. Okay. That's right. We want to get straight out to Mark Liverman, who just is seeing the big man walk himself out that plane. There's Michael Phelps. Good morning. Good morning, Good 
Wayne guys. Yeah, we just wanted to congratulate him. Um, just walking out. Mike, how does it feel to, to touch back, though? Does it feel good? What's the first thing you're going to do? I'm not answering any questions. If you could give me that space while I try to get my family home and safe, I would appreciate that. If you guys want to do an interview, you can contact my agency. I appreciate you guys coming, but I'm trying to get my family home safe, and that's what matters the most. Thank you. All right, well, congratulations, though, Michael. Great job. There you have it. The greatest swimmer, greatest Olympian of all time. Uh, so pretty exciting stuff, but obviously wants his space right now. Uh, guys, we'll throw it uh, right back to you. All right, thank you very much. Uh, some people might say, well, that, that, that wasn't very nice, but... Freaking <laughs> 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 No, that's not freaking news! <laughs> 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 that's actually what I noticed as well. I'm obviously not a celebrity, so I, I don't know that part of it, but coming home from like a deployment and you get barraged by like a lot of people trying to congratulate you and stuff like that. And the, the intent is there and the appreciation is, is heartfelt, but I just, I just want to go home, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's, it's kind of a, it's, it's a little bit of a rough thing. It, it, I understand that, you know, they're trying to show their appreciation for, for the military servicemen and, and women and, um, and I really want to say thank you to them for taking the time out to to say to come say hi. But what it really comes down to is now you are a barrier to me getting home. You know exactly. There would be a lot of people lined up. There'd be colonels, sometimes even a general. Um, all of these these people lined up that want to shake everyone's hand as they come off the plane, and it's, it's ridiculous. Sometimes the lines are like thirty, forty, fifty people long. You got it. You're yeah. supposed to see Meanwhile, your hands. Wait, at the end of this is your family, and all you want to do is get to your family yeah. and fuck all these other people. Yeah. So yeah, I can I can kind of imagine the you know the barrage of reporters as you get off a plane. That just nope, not for me. That's horrible. Yeah, no, that and that was really uncomfortable. I think that I actually just stopped. You know. <laughs> but you know. at the same time, his producer is telling him, "You better get this. You better get this." And he's been sitting at the at the airport all day. Literally on payroll all day with yeah. a cameraman. You know, you got to get something. So it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of one of those things. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that was just completely awkward, especially with it being breaking news. And he was just like, <laughs> I always thought of the kind of career that I wanted was Mandy Morris, where she was a pop star and then she was an actress for a little bit. And then she dated Andy Roddick. <laughs> and then she was the boyfriend of Disney Princess. But she never been like front page tabloids. And I'm I'm like, that's what I want. That's mm. super cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know, Ken. I still want to be Metallica. Like I I not, <laughs> <laughs> I have not let go of that dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it. Without the without the like I don't know. Without the actual fame. Like I would love for the fans like while you're performing on stage, like that would be absolutely amazing. Right. But when I'm in public, like I don't, I don't want, the, I want to be able to walk around and be anonymous. You, you, you want to be Kiss in the early 70s. Although, I'm not going to lie, when I walked around Dragon Con, there was no anonymity because we had a giant diving club loop walking in hordes yep. together. Like, Everyone knew who we were by the end of that con. It was super cool. Yeah, I, I, I saw that uh, that footage actually. Uh, Jerry Fax shot a lot of that, in fact. So. Yeah, and I have my Diamond Club's A Girl's Best Friend music video on my YouTube channel. It's my new team. It's my own, and I have all these inside jokes, and it's super fun. And I made it with Jerry Fax and Carson Pace, and we shot all the footage for Dragon Con. That's so awesome. What's your, what's your YouTube channel called? Really, guys? <laughs> the Tay Allen. Damn. Damn. Like, 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 like she, she, there's no doubt, doubts about that one. And that's not Allen with the E either. No, no, not Allen with the E bullshit. Shit. Allen with the Y. All right. So uh, we got, we got uh, two more questions for you. Okay. Yes. Send them over. Um, 
What would you do if you couldn't close your tab at the bar? How? Uh, uh, what? What? Do it. what? Like you, it, it comes time to pay tab. Go to the bar, do a dance, come up with a witty saying that is then tweeted with like three retweets, and then be like, "Excuse you, son, give me my card, or else me, my girls, and my gays are gonna dance and leave." <laughs> So, uh, so as we're gonna see right here, cash-strapped drinker leaves clothes in pub. The man is walking naked. Bar his. So he, he took a nicer route. Mine is very confrontational. <laughs> he said he ran out of money and just left his clothes there. I said, "I'll get him out." That's pretty awesome. Wow, <laughs> look at that though. That's it's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I support him, but I don't really like him. <laughs> Here's the thing about that guy. He kept his socks on. Men, us girls, hate it. When you keep your socks on during, you know what? Uh, it's, it's a lack of commitment at that point. At least it's what I tell my wife. Like, Sorry. I don't want to watch a guy leave a bar. And look like a grandpa with just his socks on. <laughs> and the socks are always the first thing to come off of me. Like, I got to get rid of the socks. The, the, the third guy that I ever saw leave a bar <laughs> um, did so, but he kept his socks on. And that is the only thing I remember him by. Mm. Like, oh, number three. He kept his socks on. <laughs> so the third guy that you saw leave a bar? Yes. <laughs> Damn, Kent. Chill. All right. Um, so the last question. What's the worst okay. thing you've done? So what's the worst thing you've done while desperate for a little something something? <laughs> wow, that's a nitty question. <laughs> and you guys had to give this to me before the show so I can have time to think. <laughs> oh, true. More fun this way. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, um, it's hard because you remember, you remember where you wind up after. My hair is always a little fuzzy. <laughs> All right, so so this guy, this guy, um, got yeah. Uh, this Ohio man was arrested after having sex with a van. He pulled out his no, no, the the van. He pulled out his junk, stuck it in the front grill of a van, and was was, oh. was humping away. And uh, the cops pulled up shortly after. Oh this my god! Have you guys tried that since you read this article? <laughs> no, I don't have a van. <laughs> I don't know. You're called ritual misery. <laughs> Also, I don't think we have the requisite neck beards. <laughs> there, there, there's there's really that. Neck beard. I'm putting that out there right now. Uh, I've well, never seen neck beard that I liked. Nobody wants a van fucker either, so. <laughs> 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 so what was your what was your last girlfriend like? Um well she was uh she was born in 78 she was uh she was blue um with uh white patches and uh she she had kind of a jacked up uh grill um but her, but her, but uh you know she had she had these amazing headlights you know and uh made up for it so <laughs> and and you know once in a while once in a while i'd get in the back you know just just go right on in the back you know and uh Put my stuff right in there. there. <laughs> but hey, at least she didn't have a neck beard. <laughs> I only hope you say this at every family function for the next 10 years. <laughs> That's all I hope. That really. Last year. <laughs> Oh jeez. So yeah, there you go. That's uh that's awkward news with Tay. That was so awesome. <laughs> oh man, that was that was a lot of fun. 
Oh man, um, yeah, it's uh, that's uh, I, I, as I was reading some of these stories, I told you you'd get more into it as we went along because I had to start with the heavy hidden ones and kind of come down from there. And man, that was that was awesome. I, I love seeing your reaction to that last one. That was I'm gonna have to screen grab that because that was amazing. Oh, that was that was fantastic. Oh man, hey, uh, so so Tay, whether you want you knew it or not, you're actually part of a project of ours, not just the podcast, a project of ours. Okay, tell me more. This is episode beta ninety one. We are officially on a countdown to one hundred. To our I'm one- really pissed. That I'm not 99. Uh, no, 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 no. We had to lead off with you because there's no better way to, st- st- to start something awkward like our countdown to 100. <laughs> like, just that, okay. that in and of itself, just being completely backwards. And Hold on. One moment. Let's see. Do I what in the hell is this now? Guys, please continue what you were saying. <laughs> okay, we'll just continue as if nothing was happening. So all I can think of all I can think again is the entire time she's been on the show tonight, the whole hour or whatever that she's been on the show, she's been staring at this 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 deer head or whatever it is. <laughs> Like, wow. Hold on. How can Let's I give the viewers what they really want? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Dear, dear so I, boobs. So, supposedly, she's in her boyfriend's apartment, but I haven't seen this boyfriend, but I now see a skull. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's trying to tell us something. I'm just, uh, you, know, you know, there's, there's something there. Um, so, so yes, Tay, you are you are the first uh, the, the, of the countdown um, of our of our uh, our countdown. Pull out a deer skull. That's yeah. Uh, the devil the first to pull out a deer skull. Yes, that's. You're also the first to do a show from the bathroom. That was really important to me. The first to do to do a show from the bathroom that we know of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there might have, been, might have been some people. If you listen to audio, there could have been some people uh, before we went to video doing that because. Wow. True, true. Definitely. Um, but we were counting down to our 100th episode. Well, viewers, this is not the first time I have pulled out a skull in an interview. The first time on our show. <laughs> but I will bring that out there to people who have watched Diamond Club for a long time. This is not the first skull. We did a really scary guy. What's wrong with my brain? I'm putting it down. What is that the was my crash of our video? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you okay. are an audio I'm listener, to this podcast, if you are if you are an audio listener to this podcast, this if of any time ever that you have decided, screw it, I'm not going to watch the video of this episode. This is the one that you have to change your mind for. Um, yes, you I have to come on and I see the her. video on this episode. Holy shit! Yeah. So yes, yeah, so you're the yeah. first. <clears throat> you're the first of a series of of amazing, uh, awesome guests that we have um, leading up to our 100th episode. And I don't even think we have. I think we have about half of them bo- booked, right, Kent? Yeah, we're about halfway through the official booking. Uh, we are not going to. Well, we'll announce the next guest. Um, but we're not going to we're not going to give anything away for who we have lined up. We are especially not giving away the the uh, guest for episode one hundred. That's not being given away. Uh, but, yeah. but this is this is a mostly, mostly because I, I'm going to give it away. It's the skull. <laughs> hey, we talked about this. It's an hour and fifteen minutes of the skull. <laughs> <laughs> Just the skull. There's, there's no audio. It's not, it's, not, it's not even a video. It's just a picture, like a grainy picture of a skull that just gets clearer and clearer as it goes along. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, man. Um, long get? Uh, it, it, Old Man Smokey from Not Take Your Workshop? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. That's my clue. 
to where there may be some skull love. <laughs> you can that in your 100th episode when you are interviewing the skull. <laughs> there we go. Feel free there we to go. Pull in that episode. I give you my permission. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so, Kent, who do we have next week? Is next it, week is, is it is confirmed? Like, this is we are rapid firing this. I'm sorry. Listen, we are rapid firing this. Like, this is an idea that we came up with after last week, and we're like, no, we are fucking doing this. It's gonna be amazing. Who are we gonna get on? And we're like, okay, our last Friday show has to be Friday. It has to be because next week we're moving to Wednesdays. Um, maybe. Yep. Wednesdays will be a new home, but we're not sure yeah. what day next week because it's kind of fluctuating. Right, so Wednesday is going to be the new home or the new time slot for the Ritual Misery podcast. However, next week is looking like it's probably going to be on Thursday. In okay. fact, mm, yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be on Thursday. And our guest is going to be Tom Welch, a.k.a. Jury Facts. Yay! Yep, so. That's awesome. I'm going to make so much fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Now, Tom... Tom has been on the show before, but only on the New Year's Eve special. Yep, the New Year's Eve special. That was awesome. That was some of the first times I, like, really interacted with you guys. That was super cool. Yep. yep exactly. yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. That was your first appearance on the show. Yeah. That was a, that was a very long day for some of us. Uh, yeah, it was like a 25-hour 25, 25 long day. Uh, it, it, um, it ended in 24 hours and 24 minutes, uh, and then I, I, couldn't, I couldn't go anymore. <laughs> yeah, for everyone that enjoyed that, or, or even our our new listeners that that didn't get to experience the the New Year's Eve special last year, we're going to do it again this year. Yep. Yeah, uh, I'm glad. In the coming in the coming weeks and months, there's going to be more to come. We're gonna because the last time it was just kind of a, hey, I'm doing this, and it, it was decided uh, on uh, yeah. like Thursday that we're gonna do it on Tuesday. So right. <laughs> oh, hold on. This one we're gonna plan in advance. We're gonna have we're gonna have guests lined up on uh, certain time slots. We're gonna have events. We're gonna have yeah. this be way more planned out. A lot more, a lot more diamond club participation. It, it, unless it all falls through, which if this is the. No, it's amazing. I mean, Bonnie Brushwood let me know about y'all's last one, so it got some traction, even though you only had two days to plan it. That's right on. That's uh, awesome. Yep. Uh, this one will have way more, way more play. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna try to get like as many diamond clubbers as possible to to add into it, and uh, also again, like we did last year, if there's a way that we can charitize it um, to raise some money for a worthy cause, uh, you know, do something like that. Like, Amazing. We're, we're not. Yeah. We're not. We're not looking for. We're not looking for um, ideas just yet. But if people keep it in mind and. Uh, we will be soliciting that. We're probably going to do uh, Diamond Time on Night Attack. We're going to have our Reddit up, of course, yep. our email. Uh, all so. of the ways to contact us. We're going to be looking for input. Uh, and and, and, and that's, that's me. I don't know what your plans are for New Year's, but uh, uh, we are... Yeah, you know I am. You just you, let me know you, anywhere. You are officially invited, the first oh. person invited to our 2016-2017 our, uh, New Year's Bash. Absolutely. Thank you. I would love to. Just to me the details. Um, that said, man, uh, Tay, where can, where can people find more about you other than the uh, the duplicity of your website? Oh, God, dude, the duplicity. Yeah, no, do that. Um, I'm definitely getting more active in Snapchat because now Snapchat has some really cool functions. I love that. That's so cool. My Wix site. Uh, um, and my Snapchat is Tay Allen, T A Y A L L Y N, one word. Um, we're going to be filming and shooting so much footage now that I'm working with Banky. Um, so I really want everyone to like be up on that and I can send direct YouTube links. So if you follow me, I'll follow you back. Um, so yeah, doing that more. And I'm such a Facebooker. Like for, uh, most of you are like my personal Facebook friends, let's be honest. Uh, so please personally Facebook me. Um, but yeah, uh, on my page, like, I talk to everyone. It's just like it's just like normal me. Um, so I'm a big Facebook fan too. And Tay Allen Pop Girl on Facebook. And there will be more YouTube things. But like honestly, there's so much other content that I'm about to start making besides just YouTube. And I'm so excited about that because you guys have been the best, and y'all have been the one that are like, make a Patreon, do this. We want to see more. And I've been like. 
okay. And now that I have the support from this new group, um, that's actually going to be happening. So I'm really excited about that. Awesome. Um, if anybody follow me, you can go to Twitter at. Our I do want to follow you everywhere you go forever and ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter because you will find out where I'm going and when I'm going there. Uh, mm-hmm. At RM underscore Del Noche. <laughs> <laughs> That is by far the most excited anyone has ever gotten. Ever. Uh, ever. My, uh, my, oh, my. I'm going to have to watch uh, this. Yeah. So, <laughs> we will. you're interested in what beers I've been trying lately, you can go to wavebeer.com and look for username Del Noche. Hey, Miss, right. where are you at? Uh, I'm, I'm on Twitter. It's pretty much the only way, only place you need to worry about because I'm not doing the Instagram thing. I, I don't quite get it. And then uh, the Snapchat thing, I don't quite get it. Look, I, I, I like Twitter, so I'm just going to stay there. How's that? Um, at Ethan Kane. I know it makes no sense. Don't care. At Ethan Kane, E-T-H-A-N-C-A-I-N-E. No underscores, Kent. And um, you can follow me there. I like to put a lot of a lot of awkward stuff on there, and just random thoughts, and a lot of uh, retexts and stuff. And uh, you can follow the show at Ritual Misery. We couldn't make it any easier for you at Ritual Misery. Speaking of Patreon, we don't typically pimp out the Patreon a whole lot. I just want to say that this week has been an awesome week, and I'm going to cut to this right here. We are currently at sixteen dollars, sixteen dollars per episode. Uh, cool. Rolling in that fat stack, fat fat stacks of cash right there. Um, so yeah, thirty dollars an episode, and I bought myself a Mac, so it's what we do, guys. <laughs> it's amazing, um, and uh, really, really, just appreciate everyone that's that's, uh, that's kicked us a little bit here or there and giving us uh, some feedback. Um, but plenty of people have given us feedback and never donated or anything or bought a t-shirt or none of that stuff. And just your feedback, your emails, your calls, things like that, awesome. We really do appreciate it. So um, if you are interested in any of that stuff, want to go and buy a t-shirt or anything like that, hey, look at that. Uh, apparently Kent just dropped out, so. <laughs> Didn't, didn't. <laughs> well, there you go. If you'd like to uh, just stare at taste tits for a little bit, uh, feel free to uh, pause the screen right there. And uh, go to, <laughs> go to ritualmisery.com slash swag and uh, cruise on over there. And, of course, submit ideas on our subreddit, ritualmisery.reddit.com. It's flooded with taste stuff right now. Emails, podcast at ritualmisery.com. Call and leave us a voicemail, 567-69-TRMPC. That's 567 if I can find my button, five six seven six nine eight seven six seven two, and uh, yeah, I still didn't hit it. There we go. And <laughs> of course, you can find all these links and more ways to support the show and give feedback at our website, ritualmisery.com. Thanks so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use the music that's cutting in right now. Thank you for listening. For Kent, who's not here, for you, for Tay, for me, this has been your Rachel Misery Podcast. <laughs> Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this bowl. <laughs> and oh that ended abruptly <laughs>